I brought League of Legends to life. Hale had a particular playstyle that I really liked. The Comic Con convention, hundreds of other cosplayers. One of the biggest ones that's probably ever happened in the UK. Two days before the actual convention. I'm sitting there thinking, maybe it's not even going to happen. My favourite game is League of Legends. I've played it for about 10 years since just after the beta release. I was really good at Kale and I played a lot of her and a lot of my friends knew me as the person who played Kale. I played it in tournaments, it was almost constantly banned against me because they saw that I was really good at the character. Kale had a particular playstyle that I really liked. The playstyle was really aggressive and that catered to my playstyle. Well, there's quite a few skins to Kale, but my favourite is Aethwing Kale. It's like widely considered the best skin for Kale. Kale is kind of like a sort of a cyber angel, I guess you can call it. That's quite unique amongst quite a lot of other designs. In the game, I peaked around Diamond 2, Diamond 1, which is the equivalent of top 0.1% of the players. When we came across it, I sort of joked that maybe I can make a Kale cosplay, maybe I can make the best one. I started by like extracting the model from the game and then I spent a few months like researching it and getting the information that I needed to make it. I designed it so that I can try and make it for the next year's Comic-Con. I was building it in my bedroom and I didn't have any tools. Almost everything that I bought was less than £100 worth of tools. The primary materials that I've used on Aetherwing Kale is EVA foam for the outside, acrylic, for the blue highlights and aluminium for the frame. I say the last two weeks of it were kind of utter hell in terms of trying to actually manage to get it completed. Working on it day in, day out, pretty much like 16 hours a day. The harness design that I had wasn't really sort of sturdy enough to properly use it. This is only the size of an A4 piece of paper, but it has to handle like this kind of wingspan strapped to the body. I thought there may be a possibility that I can't even use it. After all the time spending hour upon hour, so long on it, and getting to the last moment, the night before, I'm sitting there thinking, maybe, maybe it's not even gonna happen. <sighs> it, was, it, was. Uh, it did happen though, didn't it? That was over a thousand hours in total. I've never worked on something so hard. Such a struggle to get through. It was something that nobody had ever seen before. It was so fortunate that like, just everything kind of came together. Everything ended up working. I couldn't have asked for more. I was contacted in 2017 by Guinness World Records. They believed that I had the largest mechanical wings on a cosplay costume. When it's fully spanned out, it's 426 centimetres from tip to tip. I wasn't aiming to break the world record. It means a lot that I actually managed to complete it. When I was standing around after the show, this woman came up to me with her kids and he ran over to my side and just stood there and like hold my hand, like staring at me in awe. And then as she walked away, like the kid ran up to her and said, Mum, I touched an angel. I've seen some wings, but they're not like this at all. Once I have tools and equipment and workspace, I'll be able to make some incredible designs that I hope to sell. Looking back at my time with League of Legends, I've gained a lot of friends during that time and also gained a lot of skills from working on this cosplay. But also, I've gained some insight into what I really want to do in the future. I say League of Legends has had a really big impact on my life.